What's up, what's going on, Legends? Welcome back to the channel. In today's quick video, I want to discuss Building 21 going into Season 4 and some changes that I hope they make to overall improve the experience going over to this location. And if they plan to have missions here, it will obviously improve the mission experience going to this location as well. Before we dive into it, if you guys do enjoy this content anytime, make sure you share support for the channel by going down below and smashing that like button. Go ahead and throw an easy goal of 150 likes on today's video as well as if you guys would like to find your way back to the channel for more Call of Duty content, make sure you do hit that subscribe button alongside the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. All right, so going into this new season, I think there's some changes to Building 21 that they could make in order to overall improve the experience. Now, the first thing is going to be removing the DRC 21 card because I don't think having an access card to the location at this point in the seasons that we've gone through provides really any benefit. I don't think you really need to store them. I think it's just wasted space. And majority of the time that these key cards existed, you either didn't need one. It only used one if you carried it in. There's just been a lot of variables where the key cards weren't really used. So I don't think at this point they're providing much value, but they are taking up space. And I think they're just kind of pointless. There is no other map that you have to have access to via a key card. You can go just into the complex by finding one of the bunker doors. So even if it was something as simple as adding an entrance inside of Almazra that you could go to to go to building 21, I think that would be a much better improvement than having to have access to a key card and having that limited access be on the weekend. So that's going to kind of take us over to our second issue, which is the limited access to building 21. Now with the season two wipe, they went across the board and made sure that missions took you to all the different locations. I think it's cool when they wipe the missions and then obviously make it required that you go to different locations for the new missions that they implement. Now, the only issue with this is, is when they went to season two and they implemented missions that required building 21, they didn't take away that limited access or even extend it in any way, shape or form. So you still only have that 70 two hours, which is roughly Friday through Sunday to access building 21 in order to get any of your missions done that you might need or get anything that you might have to do for building 21 accomplished before obviously that time period ended and you'd be locked out until the next weekend. Now, I think that's one of the biggest hurdles that people faced with missions in regards to building 21, especially I think the final mission for Black Moss tier one required you to go into the generator room. And if obviously someone else had opened it, you wouldn't be able to open it, allowing you to obviously complete the mission and it'll move on to the next tier. So if you were somebody who got stuck on that mission, Maybe you weren't able to complete it on a weekend. Maybe you couldn't play. You were stuck waiting till the following weekend to be able to even get an opportunity to knock that mission out to unlock that next tier. So it might be the reason that you get gate kept, not able to complete future missions, and then be obviously locked out for four or five days, having to wait until it opens again, and then be able to go back in, obviously, and achieve whatever mission you were able to the weekend before. I think it is extremely gatekeepy to have a location like this where it is as limited as it is and have missions be as important as they are and obviously have it be a part of the progression. And then obviously, if you can't go to the location, you can't progress. So I think it would be really cool for them to just completely wipe out the limited access to Building 21, allow us to go in there at any time or at any point. That way, people are progressing the missions. If any of the missions take us over to Building 21, people can do it at any time. Not everybody's available at the same times during the week, and I don't think having it available only during the weekend is really a fair way to treat players, especially when there was an issue specifically where free-to-play players weren't even able to access Building 21 due to a bug for over a month. So there was a long time where people were kind of gate kept out of Building 21, which kept them from progressing certain missions, and even in some cases unlocking more factions. Now that is going to be a really big issue, I think. Hopefully when they go to this new season, they decide to make some changes, or maybe they make it less important for some of these missions to go over to Building 21. As much as I think it's important for them to tie each of the locations into the missions, I think having it be as limited as it is, it doesn't really make sense for them to do that. But I think it's one of the biggest mistakes they made in season two by gatekeeping people out of certain missions or being able to progress going into the next faction or just being able to complete specific missions, having that limited access to building 21. Another thing to add is at this point, I don't think it's all that new. So it's not like it's a refreshing experience. People just want to go over there, get their stuff out of the way, get it knocked out. Or even maybe people want to go over there to get their weapons cases. It just makes it super gatekeepy and hard for people to actually progress or get the rewards when they're only able to go certain times during the week. Now, one issue I could see people bringing up is what if people are able to get access to RGLs consistently? Wouldn't they be able to just farm a bunch and keep them in their contraband? And wouldn't that become more of an issue? I think they could obviously make modifications to this. Maybe not every single time you eliminate him, he drops the RGL. Maybe he drops the weapon case instead of the RGL and they take it out of the safe, modify how the weapon case is achieved. I think that could overall be a nice change of pace, but I do think that that's something that they need to do. Now, I think there is another option that they could take with building 21 and it is to leave it completely out of the missions altogether. Now you would need obviously more reasons to go to this location. If you don't have to go for missions, why would you go to building 21? I think it would be cool if they did weekend rewards where every weekend that it was open, maybe there were specific rewards you could go and unlock, whether it's the weapon case, kind of getting that three times gets you X blueprint, or maybe there's other things that they could give you or specific missions to building 21 that only take place during the weekend. That way you guys actually have something to achieve during the time period that it's open. You don't feel obligated like you actually have to go there to complete that stuff 
unless you want a specific reward that they offer. But I think these improvements would overall make the Building 21 experience a lot better. I think the difficulty is very similar to the Complex, and obviously in the Complex, you can't team up with other squads either, so it's very similar in that fashion, and you don't have a mini-map. So there are things about the Complex that I think they could carry over to Building 21. It would be overall a quality of life change, making that Building 21 experience a little bit better. Now, these are just some improvements that I think would overall help Building 21 fit in a little bit better and make players not dislike it so much. And then obviously it would allow players to move through their missions and progress at a reasonable pace going into this new season, unlike season two. Now, I want you guys to let me know down in the comment section below if you guys like any of these changes that I'm recommending. And if you hope to see some changes to Building 21 yourself, that's going to wrap things up for us here. Thank you guys for all the support in today's video, all the support in the channel. And I look forward to seeing y'all in the next one. Peace.